It's on the bottom here. There, if I can get it to move. There's these four legs, and it just comes with some pins. Um, I know I didn't do them right, but then the base uh, has a fan built in. If I can pop it out of the ground. It has a fan built in, so that's how it airs up. And you can hear it start to inflate. I already have it kind of tied down to the haunted house just to help support it. But he stands at 12 feet tall. At least that's what the box says. So I believe it. Yep, has a whole strand of lights that goes through it very excited I'm gonna actually try and put this at the corner uh, right here on the front of the haunted house just on the roof uh, level it out screw it down tie it down so that way he's gonna stand he'll stand like 19 feet tall with the uh, with the two platform or with the whole roof and everything so he should be pretty high up there um, and hopefully people will be able to see him from the street and be like, hey, what's that? And then they'll come down here. So let's take another view from the front. So that's that. He looks really good out in person. So uh, I got this guy at Walmart for $60. Uh, I told myself I would never have inflatables for the haunted house. But whenever this guy came out, I decided I would go ahead and buy it. So I feel like it's a pretty good investment. All right, so hey there, guys. I got a bunch more stuff. Um, I already have one of these skeletons. They're the five-foot uh, Bucky. I'm a, well, they're not really Bucky's. They're uh, posable skeletons from Walmart. They're $29.97. Uh, really crappy quality but well not necessarily like it's just thin plastic uh but for 30 bucks like they're pretty good so i got two more of those um dress those guys up or do something with them um and then i have this clown it's like 48 inches and uh, you basically just hang it up. You can pose the arms and stuff, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then I also got, I have a total of five of these lights. They're $1.52 a piece. They're called flickering light bulbs from Walmart. Um, only some Walmarts have them. So just if you have multiple Walmarts in your town, go to all of them and check. Um, they're pretty cool. Uh, I'll make a video on how they work and or what what it looks like when they're working, but I have a total of five of those I Have this doll mask now I Got this one which is a thick thicker plastic um, I have this one which is also a thicker plastic I Have another light bulb and then I think this is the last thing I got, and it's that doll mask. Yeah, so it's a pretty good score. I have more stuff inside, which I think I've already filmed, and if I already have filmed it, you've already seen it. So, yep. Happy hunting, guys. All right, so another really cool thing that I have is this uh, jack-o'-lantern uh, candle thing. Uh, where you, you basically put these little wax squares inside of this and a light bulb inside uh, heats the whole thing up. So it's, it's kind of warm, um, but it basically just melts that wax, whatever, uh, whatever scent you put in there. And it smells really good. What I'm using right now is Haunted Pumpkin Patch. And it's really cinnamony, but it's actually pretty good. I like it. The other one that I really liked was Monster Cookies. Uh, it just smells like regular sugar cookies, like uh, you're cooking cookies in your house. 
smells really good. Um, they had like candy corn. They had a bunch of Halloweeny type scents, uh, but those were the two that I got just because that's all I could afford. Um, but yeah, the actual uh, holder thing right here was only nine ninety seven, and they have a bunch of different ones. Like, well, they have three. They have the jack o' lantern, something else, and then like a skull face. But this was the one that mostly kind of looked like Halloween and something I can use year round. So that's pretty cool. I really enjoy that. Um, and then it just has this little turn switch so you can turn it on and off. Um, and then after the wax is melted, if you're careful with it, you can actually pick it up and because the wax is liquid, you can pour it back into those dills, wipe it out, and then just put your other one in there and just con like continue to reuse the wax. So that's cool, I really like that. Another thing that I got, which is horrifying even to me, and it's gonna look great in the haunted house. Also from Walmart, these masks. I got the, the bunny rabbit one. Um, and it's supposed to have buttons as eyes, but what I'm gonna do, cause it's really hard to see out of the four holes, I'm gonna drill two big hole, or one big hole in each eye, um, just to make it easier on the actors to see. But that's the back of it, has a little strap. Uh, and these guys were how much? $7.97 on that. Yep, $7.97. I got, so, uh, got the bear too, so. These guys are really scary, um, especially like with a costume or something, you know. It's gonna look really good in the haunt. So, I'm gonna put that in the kids room with the, uh, with the Jack, Jack in the Box, so. Looking good, guys. Happy awning. See you in the next video.